Hey guys, what's up? Mighty Leafy here. And on today's video, now remember back on the uh, first part of the video when I when I said uh, I lost some footage. Well, I didn't lose it. The footage got corrupted. And um, yeah, this is the part that I lost. Well, not, not the uh, completed part, but you know, I'm just going back now to uh, add in the part that I lost. And basically, the part that I lost was um, the process for me coloring the eyes in. So uh, yeah, this will just be a video going through, uh, you know, like my process of doing just that. So I'm re-recording this post uh, productions, like post post uh, the drawing being completed, but it shouldn't take very long. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so uh, I've hit the uh, the completed layers, and I hit the skin layer just because I want to do the base color for the eyes, which is going to be white. So I'm just going to lasso this. <laughs> Right, that was weird. Right, now that the base color layer is uh, laid out, I can turn back the skin layer back on. Now I'll keep the uh, 
the clothing layer hidden still because I think if I turn it on it would just get too confusing because there's too much going on. So now for the base color, I think her eyes are like a violet purple sort of color. So what I tend to do is do a variation of red slash violet slash purple. But you'll see what I mean. Let's make a new layer and just clip it onto the base color layer so the shading doesn't go out of, you know, the... Uh, the lines and stuff. Now I made a new layer for the darker color for the eyes, but you don't have to, you can do it in the same layer. I just like having more control. So just pick a darker tone. Right, so that's the shading part kind of done. Next you want to pick an even darker one. You know, just pick a airbrush and uh, turn on pressure sense for the opacity thing, I guess. And have the opacity set on something low, like 20% or something. And just do like the, um, I don't know, the, the, uh, the other layer of shading thingy. I don't know what it's called.
Okay, um... Now just make a new layer on top again. And flip it to the base layer. Now you want to fill this layer black. But uh, change the blending mode to color dodge first. Or well, after, whichever suits you. Right now, go back to your white brush. And um, it's still an airbrush with the opacity stuff being pretty low. And now you can just, using, using the white brush, you can uh, adjust the lighting on the eyes. And if you want to darken it, you can switch back to the black color brush. So I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, if I ever extend this series to, like, you know, a few more episodes, like, an uh, extended series, I might have some fancy proper term, terms for these things, but, I don't know, I, I just kinda, I don't know what to call them. Anyways, now you wanna add, like, the, uh, highlight or the shiny layer the um, little sparkle uh, the, yeah the, the eye highlight stuff and you want this layer on top beyond like above your line art so just go to the very top and make a layer I had to hide the layer earlier on just cause um it was kind of getting in the way of me showing you the space color stuff Okay, so go back to the uh, non-airbrush, so the semi-solid brush, I guess, and then just draw like some dots where you think they might be appropriate. Like, I mean, uh, I guess you imagine like the light source coming from one side, and then whichever side it's coming from, you put like a highlight on that side, and then on the opposite side as well. So right now the light is kind of uh, the light's going like this, right? But it's kind of like in front of her as well. So uh, yeah, it should be just something like that once you once you're done with it. All right, and that's it for the eyes. Um, yeah, just it doesn't. You don't have to use that many layers. Uh, I just like more control. It's actually not very uh, optimal to use lots of layers because it takes up a lot of resources. 
especially if you're u using a uh, big canvas. So what I would, and I should mute this music, my bad. And this is a very uncomfortable uh, pose, posture, to bend over my tablet to talk on the mic. But um, uh, it's what ifs. Uh, so yeah, like try to keep the layer count down. Don't go crazy like I did, I guess. I mean, I, I'm a control freak, so what can I say? But um, the upside to having more layers is obviously you can go back and adjust the colors if you get them wrong, or if you want to change something. Um, say like, if you're doing a drawing for you know someone else, if you like doing a drawing and it's not entirely up to you what the color scheme should be and such, and yeah, they want you to change the colors. You can just go to your specific layers and just change it. But if you have it all in one layer, then you're kind of screwed. Yeah. But um, nah, I just overall like more layers. But yeah, all right. So I guess that's it for the uh, eyes part. And um, this part is recorded uh, like I, I think like a week now. It's been a week since I finished doing the drawing. So um, I don't know what I said in the other videos. Um, the whole series like complete, but I just haven't been uploading because I felt like I needed to fit this within the uh, the uh, schedule thingy, like the the playlist thing. Cause well, I know I fuck like um, oh man, I swore I can't swear on YouTube right now. Fuck it. All right, anyways, um, I know I kind of screwed up with the part two coming before part one but it's what ifs um yeah hopefully this part helped you guys out and uh stay tuned for the entirety of the series i have it all recorded and ready to go and i just don't want to spam you guys so i'm taking my time to uh upload but yeah all right tell me what you think um leave comments and ask me any questions if you want and I'll catch you guys next time.